Hi, I'm Matthew. I work as a support technician here at Social Engine, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get up and running with a fresh copy of Social Engine, as well as give you some valuable solutions to the most common problems people run into while performing an installation. Before we begin, there are a few prerequisites that you'll need to have done. The first is that you have already uploaded all of Social Engine's files to your web server and have direct access to your files, preferably via an FTP client such as FileZilla or by way of a control panel made available by our hosting provider. Because there are many differing ways of how to do this, we won't cover them in this tutorial. Also, and very importantly, you should have already created a MySQL database that will be used exclusively by Social Engine, so please have your MySQL hostname, username, password, and database name handy, as you'll need them later. If you're installing a trial version of Social Engine, you'll also need to upload the license.txt file to your Social Engine's root directory. Once you have uploaded all of Social Engine's files to your web server, you should now be able to point your browser to your domain name and see step one. If this page does not appear, try doing a hard refresh in your browser. This can usually be done by holding Command plus R on the Mac or Control plus F5 for Windows computers. If this did not bring up the installation page, you may need to modify two of your HT Access files. This is most likely the case if you're seeing a 302 or a 500 error page. If you didn't have any of these troubles and are seeing this page, hold tight for a minute while I explain how to solve this common issue. This issue is most common when you install a social engine into a subfolder off of your web root directory, but can also happen if you did install it directly in your web root. To correct this issue, navigate your FTP client to the root folder of your social engine installation. This is the lowest down folder that contains any of social engine's files. There, you will see an HT access file Open it in a standard text editor. Then, look for the line that contains Rewrite Engine On. Then, right below that, add a new line that says Rewrite Base Forward Slash. Now, if you did install it directly into your web root folder, that's all you need to do. But if you do have it in a subfolder, after the forward slash, you need to add the name of that subfolder. So for me, I'll add forward slash se4demo and then another forward slash. After this, save your changes. Next, you'll have to make a similar change to the HT access that is inside the install folder. Once you've navigated your FTP client to the install folder, which is a subfolder off of your social engine root folder, you'll see another HT access file. Again, Open it in a text editor and look for the line containing Rewrite Engine On. Similarly, you'll have to add a new line directly below this that says Rewrite Base. Then, if you did install it in the web root folder of your server, you'll need to type forward slash install forward slash. But, like me, if you installed it in a subfolder, you'll need to write forward slash se4demo or the name of your subfolder forward slash install forward slash. Then remember to save your changes. Changing these two files typically fixes about 90% of the initial installation issues we see. Now that we can all see step one of the installation, all you need to do now is enter in the license number you received by either purchasing one or requesting a trial. You'll also need to decide if you would like to send us anonymous usage statistics. If you wish to share this information, make sure yes is selected. Step 2 gives you an easy to understand list of all of Social Engine's requirements and whether or not your server meets them. Hopefully you see mostly green boxes, but if you see a few yellow ones, that's not to worry. That just means those are improvements you could do to make your Social Engine experience even better. If you do, however, see a few red boxes, that means you're going to have to make some changes before you can continue installation. If any of the folder permission boxes are red, this is something you can most likely fix yourself and I'll demonstrate how to do this in a second. But if any of the boxes above the folder permissions area are red, then you'll need to contact your hosting provider and let them know which modules you'll need enabled or upgraded. To make the necessary folder permissions changes, you'll need to navigate your FTP client to your Social Engine's root folder, then to the application subfolder. Now select the Language, Package, Settings, and Themes folders. Right-click on one of the selected folders and then click File Permissions. 
Now, make sure the permissions are set to 777 and that they are set recursively, meaning that all files and folders contained within will have read and write permissions. Then, click OK to make sure these changes take effect. Now, drop back to your Social Engine root folder, and then the Install subfolder. Here, you'll see a config folder. Again, right-click on this and set the permissions to 777 recursive. Then, click OK to make sure these changes take effect. Again, go back to your Social Engine root folder and select the Public and Temporary folders. Right-click and set the permissions to 777 recursively. All of these folders should retain these permissions to keep Social Engine functioning properly. Step 3 is where you enter in all your MySQL database connection information. So you'll need your host name, which is typically localhost, but sometimes can be something else, depending on your hosting provider, your username, your password, and the database name. Once you enter in all this information correctly, click the Continue button. When you've successfully connected your database, much like Step 2, you'll see a simple list of requirements that Social Engine has for MySQL databases. Typically, the only issue we see here is that if the NODB storage engine has not been activated on your server, if this is the case, please notify your hosting provider and let them know that you'll need this activated. Now that we know your database meets all of our system requirements, click the Continue button and your database will be created. Once your database has been successfully set up, you'll see this message. All you need to do is click Continue and begin customizing your community. Here is where you give your community its name. You also need to set up an email address you want to be associated with the site's super admin account. as well as your password. Also, this is where you set your profile address, which is also known as a username, and select your default time zone. Once you've entered in all this information, click Continue. And now, Social Engine is installed successfully on your server and ready to be customized to fit your community. Your next step will most likely be adding a few of our plugins. Installing plugins will be covered in another tutorial. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and be sure to keep your eye out for more like it coming soon.